what to look for in a preschool. It's really hard. Everyone thinks their preschool is the best, which is how it totally should be. Yeah. But for those who aren't in a preschool, it's like, what am I looking for? How do I find it? Yeah. And what, what types of things should you want? So we really like uh, teachers that are fresh, excited, and positive. Fresh, and happy. like young. <laughs> No, just have like yeah, just have a really good energy. It's so good energy, especially for preschool. You know, there's le less. There's other things to worry about when they get older and teacher. But what we want for our little kids is a smiling face when they come in and happy, happy. happy. Okay, check one. Number two, think about what's important for you. So whether it's activity, like some preschools don't have gym time. They might have physical time, but they might not have a gym or they might not have um, like a structured program for gym. So if that's really important to you, then, or if art's really important to you, you need to see what they offer. So rather than, I remember when I walked in with my first daughter, I was like, I guess, sure. Do you have any questions? No, I didn't know what to ask. So before you go and think about what's important, whether it's a philosophy of how the preschool runs, whether it's gym or art, look at that. Yeah. Um, what we love about this space is that there is a gym and there's lots of physical activity. And everybody knows you want to get your preschool or like you want to get exhausted. them moving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Exhausted. Um, and the other thing is I would look at their, the way they discipline. So if there's a problem in the classroom, how do they resolve it? So ask, you know, what is your philosophy on if someone hits, if someone bites? Yeah. Because a lot of preschools don't share who did it and they resolve it within the classroom, mm -hmm. which is okay for us. Yeah. But if that's not, that's going to drive you crazy, that's something then you, you have to, to consider too. Um, another thing is um, you could ask the teachers about like the learning, like how, do, how what's their approach to learning? You know, they're right now they're learning about their numbers and their letters and the days of the week and all that kind of stuff. But how do they teach it? That's interesting because when your kid's at home and you want to work with them or talk to them about how they're learning, uh, you understand how they learn. Yeah. Yeah, because we're really sitting at home doing extra work after school. As if they're in preschool. That's I mean. why they're here. <laughs> Notice um, we talk nothing about academics, but hey. Uh, there was one other thing. Some people don't like too academic. We don't like too academic because they're kids. So it's like a nice balance between playing and learning, but also learning. Oh, I had a good one. Mm, the mums? Um, something. Are they like? Oh, oh. I know. Are the moms? Are the moms like us? No, not like us. Just like, do you relate? Do you like the kids in the community? I is appreciate it? an open line of communication between the parents and the teachers. Um, I know that some parents take advantage of that, and they'll like email what? The, so you can email the teacher. I like that. But what are you emailing? I might have a particular, you know, like um, my son's been mentioning a lot uh, about a specific thing. Can you enlighten me on what he's talking about? and how you guys are like handling it or whatever. Um, and I do know that there are parents that take advantage of that and they'll like email. AKA high maintenance. If you're a high maintenance parent. Yeah, so I do understand why teachers wouldn't do it, but I like Go during the class time. Yeah. Go for don't a visit. Go for a visit so during important. class time don't and see yeah. what they're doing. Yeah, don't pay for a program and then get surprised that it's not what you expected. Yeah. Um, so we're going to, so, so Kid Bill is our choice. That's where we go. Um, there's also lots of fun programs for kids to take here outside of preschool. But, well, how many thousand square feet is this? Nine, eight? We shouldn't go there. Thousand. Big. And thousands. it's fabulous and it's so clean. So, okay, bye.